I said, there's a big fire in the street. Frantic moments of sheer terror after a Cessna dives into a busy street. And now we're hearing the message the pilot communicated moments before his Cessna came tumbling down. Still critical request landing on here at Fairfield. Telling the airport tower he was out of fuel and amazingly crashing on the road, avoiding the hundreds of homes and businesses nearby. I know he hit a couple of cars, but all in all, it was an amazing job by the pilot to, to get that airplane on the ground and have everybody walk away. Scott McEwen has been a pilot for 33 years. He says pilot Manuel Izquierdo was extremely well skilled. It's quite a feat. Izquierdo and his passenger Ronald Bizick have already been released from the hospital and are going to be okay. The people in the two cars they hit also okay. Kim Grooms, who is in this black SUV, tells me she's blessed to be alive. And friends of Alphonsine Dean, who is in the gray SUV with their young grandson, tell me it's a miracle. All those people are extremely lucky that they walked away from that wreck. The NTSB is investigating the crash, but McEwen says in his experience, it's possible to run out of gas in a Cessna. It happens more often than you think. Airplane fuel gauges are notoriously inaccurate. Um, and I think sometimes pilots tend to push, push the envelope a little bit too far. The NTSB hopes to wrap up their investigation next week. In St. Pete, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.